Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing Nestor, the long-eared donkey. Now, if you don't know who Nestor is, he is a donkey from, from the Rangan Bass films. He is, basically, his story is that he's like Dumbo, where he has long ears and he is laughed at by many other donkeys or many other animals, or farmer animals. But later in the story, he finds that he is a hero by carrying G baby Jesus to the stable. Anyway, he goes through it goes through he goes through a storm. Thanks to his ears, he was able to keep baby Jesus safe. Anyway, that's the story of of long of Nestor the long-eared donkey in a short. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I recommend you go check it out because it is rather a cute movie. So to start out by drawing him, we are going to be drawing a little half circle here. Just a little half circle for his little muzzle. Then we're going to draw a big other circle right here. Kind of like a dog, but not really like a dog. I'm just going to put the little half circle close together with the other half circle. Sorry about that. So just attach the half circle and the other circle together. Now close that circle off once you get close to the long circle right there. Just to show his um, face a little bit. Let be perfect, just make a thing closing the circle. Good. Now we're going to draw his long ears. His long ears are going to come down like a dog, like this. Like a floppy ear dog going to come down like this. Give me a little circle seam right here showing how pink it is on the other side. Then we're going to draw his other ear which is on the other side. Now his other ear will be bounced off a little bit on the other side. So it's going to look a little bit curved like a little S curve. It's going to come down like a little S curve. It's going to point right here. Make sure to make a point here. But also make it round so it looks like a donkey's ear. And not some like... Even though he has long ears, he's still got to look like a donkey still. So he's got to look like that. Just going to strain out this ear a little bit more. That's better. Also make sure his ears are um, a little bit the same size because I think I made this one a little bit too big than the other. So I'm gonna make it a slightly a little bit longer. Or I think I'm just gonna make this one a little bit shorter. try to draw his ears again because on the other hand he's got to even though he's donkey he's got to look like he has long ears so he's got to look like that in a sense that he has long ears 
So I'm going to try that again. So just draw like he has floppy ears like a dog. Draw a little S curve. Now, I don't know if they ripped off, um, now he, his ears are gotta be very long because like in the song, he has, he has ears that drag the ground. Like it are so long that they that he trips and falls over them. Kind of like like Dumbo's ears, kind of where he where he trips on his own ears as well. I'm gonna have it come out a little bit right here to show his ear seam. So it's going to look very similar, but we're looking at him at different viewing. So one is going to have be open, the other one's going to have it on the other side. Then we're going to draw his his neck coming down like this. His neck is slightly coming off his um long ears, so Make sure you make it look like his neck is peeking out of his ears a little bit. Now, Nestor is a is a young donkey, so he's not fully grown. In this version, he is he is not a fully grown donkey yet. Mostly like Rudolph, he is mostly just a kid. Just a baby. So pretty much we got to make sure he's not, he's a donkey, but he's not that big. Like a normal sized donkey. Just draw his body, but don't make it too long because of course he's a kid. Now we're going to draw his little seam right here where it's white. On their side. They're gonna draw his little his little legs here. They're gonna draw his hooves. there you go then we're gonna have his long back legs come out well it's not gonna be longish it's actually very skinny his legs are actually very stubby so as a donkey he's not gonna have much Look to him. Next, we're going to do his long, his tail. Just get a picture of his tail somewhere.
Now his tail's gonna come down like this. He has little strings on his tail. So we're gonna come in, make little, little streams, but it's gonna look like a stick, like more like a 3D-ish snowflake. Like that. Okay, next we're gonna draw his little circles for his nose, his nostrils. Draw one and then draw the other, like that. Now I'm gonna draw a little side circle indicating how it's attached to his nose. Then you can darken that in. Darken it in just like that. Then we're going to draw his little hair tuft right here. Now, unlike other donkeys, his hair is just right on top. So there's no really no mohawk anywhere else. It's just a big blop on the top of his head. So draw little shears on his hair like this. There are some that come up and there's some that go down. So just go around making little streaks here and there. Doesn't be perfect because his hair is all over the place. So you can put it any way you like. You can have some up, you can have some down, you can have somewhere else. So just put it any way you like. Make it look extra hairy like, but make sure you have room for his eyes too. But just, you know, mess around with it a little bit. Don't make it like... He has to have lots of hair. He just has to have round hair everywhere like this, pretty much. Now we're going to do his eyes. Hold on. We're going to do his eyes real quick. Before we do that, I'm gonna make a little mouth coming out like this to show that he's very happy in this picture. There are some pictures where he shows him crying, and I just hate that. I want him to be happy. So just make a little happy smile of him coming out of there. Perfect. We do, I really hate seeing pictures of him crying because it just makes me sad for the little guy. So make sure you show that he's happy and making sure that he has a happy life and a happy ending too because he does have a happy ending towards the end. And it feels good to have that happy ending for him. I had to warn you that his story is pretty sad. But, for the most part, it has a happy ending. Good enough on that. Then the last thing we're going to do is draw his, his eyes. His eyes are going to be like ovals, pretty much. Then we're going to draw another circle in the inside like this. And he's looking to the side of us like this. And like I said, he's saying Merry Christmas to us. Like in the beginning, like in the, like in the, at the end of the movie. Then we're going to darken his eyes. Now we have to, now we can, now if you choose to, we can color him. We're going to start with a very, we're going to start with a gray color. Well, actually, I think we're going to start with a peachy color for his, for his nose. His nose is going to be a peachy color. So you can just color in that peach. Now, if you want to color him, you can. If you don't, you can stop the movie. You can stop the video from here. But for those who want to color him, just color his nose peach like this. Just 
Sorry, just have to start my pencil right there. There. We're just gonna draw lightly on his ears pink. Not too, not too pinkish though, because I don't want it to be too pink. So we're just gonna have it, we're just gonna lightly color his ears pink on one side. But since it's like a little peachy color, since it's like not so pink, we're gonna have it lightly colored. Just lightly make this ear pink. Then we're gonna draw, then we're gonna color very lightly on the other ear as well. In the inside, right here. You see this little streak? To show that he's pink in the inside too. Okay, then we're going to draw his whole body gray. Ignore that, that's my tablet going. I have a picture of Nestor on there, and it's not really easy to see him all the time. We're just going to draw his body gray for now. So go ahead and color his body gray on all sides of his body. On his feet. Now, um, on his back side, there is only a streak of gray here. Half of his belly is white, so we don't want to color any of that part gray. So just color the little body of his back gray. Leave his belly white. We're going to draw his back legs the same color as well. We're also going to draw his tail. Now, interesting fact, Pinocchio is from the Rankin Bass universe as well. So, I wonder if I wonder if I wonder if Nestor actually met a few of those donkeys before. If he has, it might be interesting. I don't know. I have to like I have to watch the movie that their version of Pinocchio at some point. Let's see how they do it. Anyway, go ahead and draw his ears and the outside gray.
Now draw his ear gray in the outside. Now we're gonna start drawing his face, coloring his face. Now be very careful, so I'm gonna be sharpening this I'm gonna be sharpening his face in a little bit. I'm gonna sharpen this pencil first, then I'm gonna lightly color in his face. Be very careful not to ruin any of the eyes or anywhere else. There. Then we're going to draw his his hooves black. And just get the black colored pencil out. And you don't have to use um, um, colored pencils. You can use any color you want. Any um, any color you like crayons, markers, anything. Just I prefer using colored pencils. Okay. Now the last thing we have to do is color his hair. His hair is actually going to have, unlike other donkeys, he has brown hair. So we're going to have brown hair for his head. In a way, he kind of looks like, his hair kind of looks like Sora's hair from Kingdom Hearts a little bit. Okay, I color all of that brown. They're gonna do the same on his tail. go in lightly and use a sharpie. Now I'm not going to do every single thing right now. I'm just going to go in lightly with all his lines here. This is just how we, now you don't have to do this, but this is just helping us give our character more dimension by sharpening all his style make it look brighter and to see his his lines a bit straighter considering we did a lot of work on this it just makes his body pop a little bit
And he's choosing his ears. And his face. It go very easy on the face because you'll never know. And very carefully do a little bit on the eyes. And that how you, is how you draw nested along your donkey. Now, last thing you have to do is to sign it. Just do a little, just do your name somewhere on the picture. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and that is how you draw Nestor. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video of how to draw him. I hope this inspires you to watch the movie because it is really cute. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead.